Hey everybody, you're back with Dave and Ned, and this is To The Death Podcast. Episode 39, that's too fast, Davey, you're talking too fast. Hey everybody, (laughs) you're back with Dave and Ed, and this is To The Death Podcast. We're talking to Dr. Dave again. Dr. David Zwoboda from Ground Game Physio. Check him out on groundgamephysio.com. D. Zwoboda on Instagrammy. I think this conversation was very fun, but... I think I kind of took too much control of it. When I was looking back at the audio for it, I'm looking at all just the bars of me talking, talking, talking. (laughs) It was good because it was entertaining to listen to, but we didn't touch any of the topics that I was hoping to I didn't even know what you wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about, oh, I thought you were asking me No, we'll talk about it in the outro, but you guys just got me in a frenzy and you wanted to just work me up and you guys did. We wanted to get through to you and I thought, since I can't do it on my own, maybe if we tag teamed, we'd be able to do it. Did we get through to you? Yeah, you did. Okay, perfect. So you're a purple belt. Hold on. What happened is when I gave Dave some critique, doctor, you took his side, not mine. I don't know why you never take my side ever. Because you're never right. If you no, become right at any point, I'll take your side. If I was never right, we wouldn't be getting better. No, because you do good work. You're never right, but you do good That's work. That's the stupidest thing you ever said. You say that every episode. <laughs> That's the drinking game. Anytime Ed says that's the stupidest thing you ever said. In this episode, I say that you say the meanest thing to me because you say another mean thing. What was the meanest thing that I said to you? In this episode, they'll hear it. Oh, that I don't love you? That I won't hug you? Which thing is it? It's that I don't know what love is. You don't know what love no, is. No, I, yes, I do. That's wrong of you to say that. And that's you know why mean. I said that? It's from Forrest Gump. I don't know. Oh, man. I can't even with this guy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. We were just talking before the podcast. Ed yesterday was reminding me of Crazy Eddie. He doesn't know who Crazy Eddie is. I'm dating myself again. We have some old listeners out there. Crazy Eddie, that's what Ed was last night. If you don't know who it is, go to YouTube, Google Crazy Eddie. Yeah, he came out before I was even born. Fine, I was alive. Good for you. That's why I knew. You were Crazy Eddie last night. One of the things that the doctor and you do is make a lot of assumptions and you assume people know the things that you already know and you take that for granted. You're like, oh yeah, I already know that. Yeah, I already know that. You know there's people listening that don't know it and they don't like when you rub it in their face that you know it and they don't. I think that they know it too. You're the only one that doesn't know it. It's not true. There's plenty of things I know that you don't know. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I know much more than you. No, no, I didn't say I know more than you. I said there's plenty of things that I know that you don't. See, you don't even listen, I right? know those things, and you don't even know no, that I know yeah. them. I know. Of course I know it. If you know it, I know it. You couldn't put this podcast together. I could put it together. You, I, we've gone over this before. You take the little card out. You put it in the thing. You audacity it up. Ship it. Exactly. Audacity it up. Audacity it up. I spent freaking five hours it. on this one because the doctor doesn't know how to hold the microphone. I yelled at him several times about the microphone. And you can't be fixed. Some people can't be fixed. Dave, you're broken. I'm sorry. You know what? We could talk all the crap we want because he's not going to listen anyway. I know. We talk about that too. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dr. Dave. Such a good friend. And he wants to start his own podcast. He doesn't even know how to speak loud enough. I want my key back. Yeah, you should get it back. I'm getting it back. You just changed the lock without telling him. No, that's expensive. I did that once already. Really? Expensive? Yeah. It's a couple hundred bucks. All right. I'd rather not spend that. Fine, fine. It is funny. It would be funny. <laughs> I want to get one of those electronic locks, like the Nest front doors. I just give people a code, and then when I don't want them to have the code anymore, I just turn the code off. It doesn't work anymore. It's a good idea. I don't know if you can do that for these, though. You probably could, but that's probably a couple hundred dollars, too. Well, I would rather do that than change the locks. If I ever had to change the locks again, that's what I do. Wonderful, wonderful. Can you tell me about your jiu-jitsu week? My jiu-jitsu week? Yeah. Monday, tap by Sam several times. Tuesday, tap by Sam several times. Wednesday, tap by Sam several times. Thursday, tap by Sam several times. <laughs> Sounds like a great week There's for There's a Sam. recurring <laughs> theme here. Sam, you're dead next week. Because Yanni's coming. Yeah, I can't wait. That's going to be fun. But I did tap Sam. We talk about that too. Finally. But we did roll again tonight and he was trying to get me. He didn't, but. Yeah, but you didn't get him. You didn't even get close. Not even close. You must have gotten lucky yesterday. No, I wasn't lucky. I, I was hungry. I wanted to prove it to myself. Because he does give his back up. That's how Yanni's going to tap him. He's going to take his back. I could see that. But then after class, after I tapped him, I showed him a couple details. And guess what? He used them on me today. So he listens very well. He knows how to learn. From wrestling all those years, he knows how to put things right into action. That's why I used to be able to guillotine him. After you guillotine him two or three times, that's it. Can no longer guillotine him. Yeah, we got to get him ready for competition. That's our next goal. When I think he's ready. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like I know what you mean. He's got to get in competition shape because he's not in the best shape. Yeah, but anyone in his weight class is going to be in similar shape. 
Yeah, but why not be the best? Why not be in the best shape of everybody? I agree with you, but I'm just saying. I think he could do why it. Why right are you now. saying it? Because I want to see him compete. I don't care the shape that he's in. <laughs> Fine. Well, how about the sponsors we got? We got this awesome sponsor. They let us sit inside of their facility, record. We could do video, audio. We could do private lessons, training. Regular classes, gi, no gi. We got a workshop coming this weekend. Core BJJ. You can follow them at corebjjnj.com. Also, all their social media. They would love to hear from you. Core BJJNJ. Wow, that was good, Ed. Did you rehearse that? No, I've been thinking about you a lot. You've been thinking about me because you want to choke me. <laughs> I so want to kill class today. Yeah. I could choke him. He's been pissing me off. Yeah, this is a nice build up to the episode. We're lower energy right now, but you guys are about to hear me go into a frenetic pace. Yeah, Ed was crazy in this episode. I sit back, I enjoy. In the beginning, you cut out quite a bit in the beginning, and I was just trying to get a word in, and I couldn't. So I just sat back, I left the microphone in my lap, and I was like (laughs) smiling, just watching you go off. You were trying to jump in. (laughs) I was trying, but I wanted to jump in at the right right point. I don't want to cut anyone off, especially with the role you were on yesterday. I didn't want you to lose your train of thought. It's exactly what I've been building towards. It's like getting the emotions. Like We do talk to Dr. Dave in this episode about being a little monotone. Because if there's no video, you have to. Everything's got to be in the voice. It's got to be, or else it's just going to be like our first episode. If we go back and listen to that compared to what we put out today, our first episode. Yeah, our first episode. It's like I'm going to go listen to it tomorrow. You should. It's way different. That makes me want to take the first episode down. No, no. I know, but it, <laughs> I don't want. I we're not really going to. But because of how far we've come, maybe we would do better now if we had maybe a good first episode we, up. No, no, no. People aren't necessarily going back to the first one. They just want to see where we are now. Have you seen the first one is number three in our listens? Sure. The first is always going to be the best because they're going to check it out. You and just then said they, nobody's going back. Now you're saying I'm they're going to go check it out. I'm saying in the first couple of months, it hasn't gotten any more views in months and months and months. It gets yeah, one occasionally. It climbs all the time. What I'm saying to you is it's good that it's not that good because oh. you can go back and compare and see we're on our way up. If we were the same now than we were the first episode, that's a bad sign. I agree. Right. So stop saying You've that. You've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm riding those coattails. I'll get there sooner or later. I'd like to talk to you about how you could step it up. Talk to me. Let's do it. Maybe later. We're we should do that in our therapy session. That's funny. Wait till you hear that. That's good. I want to talk about that in the outro as right. well. Can you stop rocking, please? Somebody actually pointed that out on social media. Yeah, but you nobody sit knows. You're rocking. Yeah, but Bob. I'm not. I'm not. We, uh, exactly. The cameras. I didn't know that you were watching. They weren't really. <laughs> You used the video of you bobbing. It's all I could get. You let me. You rushed me through to get the video. I I rushed you through. I gave you the thing back there, and I said I'll leave. Just close up when you're done. I got stuff to do. I can't be sitting here all night doing that. <sighs> Either you were rushed, or you have stuff to do. Which one is it? Both. Okay. All right. Let's get into the episode, Ed. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, you sing in the outro. Yes. You better sing. No, I yeah. forgot. I don't want to. No, you're singing. All right. Bye. To the death. Wait. Okay. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I, I'm losing. To it. To the death. Episode 39 with Dr. Zwoboda, David Zwoboda. Now you made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> it's fine. How, how is this actually in terms of distance from my face? He doesn't know because he doesn't have the earphones on earphones, anymore. Look, see how you're pointing it straight up in the air? Point it towards you. Towards me, like this. Because then you could be a little further. But if you point it straight up in the air, it's no good. What were we talking about right before that? Hang on. Naughty naughty things. No, no, no. (laughs) Yeah, we were just having a good conversation. What were we talking about? Your Instagram video. Yeah. Please. I'm not saying that your other Instagram videos are bad because they're not bad. Mm -hmm. But the one that you shot in the corner here because of the white background and the bright lights, video looks great. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm actually like really grateful to you for letting me use that space because my video quality has definitely gone up substantially. You're welcome, sir. You are so welcome. I, I really do appreciate it. You should thank me because without me, you wouldn't even know, Dave. I was going to say both of you guys have actually been But really... I'm the best, though. Say I'm better. <laughs> you can say he's better. After he leaves, you can tell me it's me. I don't, I don't know if he's better. He was the conduit to us meeting, though, really. Samir was and my mom. Samir. And Samir is the man. He definitely is the man. Dude, I love that dude. And I never even met him. Oh, you did? Oh, you heard him. So guess what? I do want to reach out to him and have him on one of my next episodes when I do alone so you can listen to that. Okay. When are we going to hear another Sweaty Eddie show? Uh, (laughs) It's in the works. I spent so much hours creating clips that you hate 
that Which, <laughs> you need to stop. You really need to stop twisting the words that I say because I never said hey. I never even said dislike. I believe I have a text that I can put on social media that says might be the funniest thing ever. Oh no, you're talking about the second clip. I'm saying the first clip that and made I didn't me... say that the first clip was bad. I said the toothbrush was better. Oh, can I tell you why it gets me a little flustered? Please. It, and I Let am the people know. Sure, I am wrong for this. I listened to a podcast recently because of. Gustavo, he told me to listen to Jerry Seinfeld on somebody else's podcast, somebody famous. Okay. And he was talking about how to be creative. How okay. do you make the number one sitcom in the world? And what he was said is it's just incremental, working a little bit every day, not overdoing it. Like mm -hmm. I, I overdid it today, for sure. <laughs> but you need to replicate it over and over. And while you're being creative, you need to coddle yourself, be nice to yourself during the creative process because the, the process is so hard. Yeah. So... As soon as I finish what I did, I should really take a step back and not show it to anybody. But instead, I showed it to Dave, and he gave me negative feedback with positive feedback as well. No, no, no. You definitely did. It was a little negative, and po it was constructive criticism. I'm not saying it's wrong, but when I'm in that fragile state, I get worked up, and it's hard to control the emotions, which is, I know, I have to. But even... Even with a consciously knowing that I need to control my emotions, still in the, I'm so vulnerable in that state that it just hurts yeah, so to hear I, it. I have a question for you. you. You just said you feel vulnerable. So do you feel like you, you let other people's perceptions of you, you let other people's opinions really influence how you feel about yourself? Not just anybody's. Okay. And so it's because, it's because you value his opinion. Uh, barely. The <laughs> thing is, why am I vulnerable? It's because I'm not Ooh, confident. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not conf I'm not confident yet because I'm just starting. I'm a white belt in creating these videos. I'm a zero stripe white belt in creating videos. Okay, so how are you going to get confident? I just have to keep doing them. Yes. And I have to just I still have to block the feedback out to an extent, but I have to let it in because I won't get better if I don't let it in. Can I tell you, you are not a white belt at creating these videos. Yeah, no, the definitely not. The clips that you're making are amazing. The second clip that you made today, hilarious. Even the first one. Very good. The way that you did it was good. I all I said that was that I liked the toothbrush one better because that was hilarious. You shot all that video yourself to create the entire clip. This clip was a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You pieced it all together. It was great. I just liked the toothbrush one better. That was the only criticism you got. I know, but I'm just saying in the heightened state of my emotions, I'm, I'm looking, po the positivity, like he said, I, sh I shouldn't even have showed it to you. I should start making things, let myself have 24 hours to really break it down, rewatch it, mm -hmm. and then make the final cut, and then send it. I just, I'm I sending my stuff. Idea. Yeah, I'm sending it too early, because you guys are giving me criticism on the newest one, which is right, but I still just created it. It's still fresh. It's my baby that was just born. I don't want you to critique how ugly it is. What if we, you show it to us, and we criticize it sooner, and you're able to fix it Earlier, isn't that better than waiting? No, no, because you're still going to get a chance to criticize it before I put it out. Okay. I want to be able to. I can. I want to be able to properly criticize it myself. I'm oh. too close. Mm -hmm. I'm too close to I it. Was, still. That's exactly what I was going to say. Two things. One, you are too close to it. So when you get this feedback, it's not just feedback. You're you're not receiving it as feedback on the video. You're receiving it as feedback on you as a creator. Yeah, yeah. So you need stop to stop talking trash about me, bro. I'm not trying to. I'm saying you need no, you to are. No, you're detach not from no, but what it I'm a saying, little bit. Okay, okay. Easy to say, as we always say, it's easy to say. Yeah, and. Let me, I'll, I will be there when you start your podcast and you hit that first creative bump where you create something, you spend so much time on it, and you think, this is the best I can do. I can't do any better than this right now. Mm -hmm. And then somebody says, not even close. <laughs> I don't think he has that ceiling. I... No, no, what do you mean ceiling? Everybody has that. The, no. When he starts the podcast, he doesn't... He know anything. He needs my help. Doesn't you're you're no, saying no, this, though, as if I've never done like a creative endeavor no, before. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying... I'm not saying You're that. Saying I'm saying it's like you don't know how to speak into a microphone. I might not know that. <laughs> I, I might need to get better at that. I'm not saying for a creative endeavor because jujitsu is a creative endeavor. Mm -hmm. I've done this and I've been critiqued on it countlessly. Mm -hmm. But when you're first starting out, even in jujitsu, and you think, oh, I got this figured out, or I'm starting to figure this out, and then you just get humbled over and over again, yeah. it's, it, you move on quicker and quicker. When I put nine hours into a video, it's hard to get myself to do the next one because you need to create from nothing again mm -hmm. and then start all over again so you can't just wipe it away right away that's why like baseball is an easy sport because i lost today let's play again tomorrow as opposed to football where it's i gotta wait a whole week to to wipe this loss away sure but you created for nine hours today you get to wake up tomorrow and create again you can create something completely new or you can create more of what you just did today i've talked about this in the past before i gotten better at this you only have so much creative energy before sure. you get yeah. exhausted. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And with I that. feel like I exhausted myself to the point that it's going to be, it just makes it harder the next time. I, it, it is emotional. Mm -hmm. Like, because you are right. Everything you're saying is right. But I'm, what I'm telling you is the reason people do hit these road bumps and, and stall and not want to do it anymore is because they'll have a day like today and they'll take too much of it to heart 
and then they don't want to do it again. I don't want I, I don't want that feeling again. This gets to something else that we've spoken about off of this podcast before, which is that you have all of these ups and downs. And I feel like you ride the high very much and you're super creative and then you get this down period and you really let it get to you. And so when people have those down periods, if they let it get to them too much, that's when they don't show up again the next day and create again the next day. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. I let, we let you. I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm just waiting to like, <laughs> jumping in. So you've been doing jujitsu for so long. Jiu-jitsu is constant criticism mm -hmm. and corrections. Why can you do that, but you can't take the corrections Obviously, or criticisms Obviously, you weren't video? listening. I, he, he can't take because them. Because it's brand new. It's like you're a white belt all over again. It's because I roll with Sam today, right? I get demolished. Then I roll with Dr. Dave, and I crush. And that you feel instantly better because it was a, literally a minute later, as opposed to I'm creating a clip and I'm not efficient at it yet. Like you said, oh, maybe you should be more efficient about it. True. But I can't yet because I don't have a mentor in it. So I'm kind of just doing it blindfolded. If I had a, somebody over my shoulder, because you guys aren't experts at it. So when you give me criticism, I'm like, what the hell yeah, do like, they should, know? Should I listen to their criticism? No, no, I should because you are right. And that's hard. It's hard to listen to somebody that's beneath you in like podcasting or video mm -hmm. making and take it. It's even mm -hmm. harder. Now, if somebody was way better than me and they said the same thing to me, you think I would take it a lot easier? Probably so. For sure. But I don't know them, so I need to meet them. Well, part of the beauty of jujitsu is you learn to kind of subjugate your ego because anyone could tap you at any given time, sure. right? So. No, no, I, I know. It, but it is hard in newer things. Like jujitsu, I can easily uh, humble myself and, and be like, oh, it's not a big deal because I've been here so long. But even when transferring to another thing, because I've transferred, it's not just been podcasts. This isn't my second creative endeavor. All of them, I always start out low. And if I don't have a mentor, I always quit. This is the first thing where I haven't had a mentor where I haven't quit. I was going to say, we're being kind of tough on you. Your mentor. <laughs> you are my punching bag. Ed, seriously, Fine, we're... as long as it keeps you motivated to continue. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're giving you idiot. here, but... You can't. The, what are the, we saying? We're giving you a hard time here. I'm going to idiot that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you are showing up and doing it. And like you said, this is the first thing you've done without a mentor, without a coach that you haven't quit. So that's something to be proud of right I there. I hate it, but it just it shows you the importance of mentors. Because if I did, I'd be excelling faster, which is what I want, but it's not necessarily right. So you're self-made right now, but you haven't quit because I constantly am nagging you not to quit. But if there was a mentor here, they would make you rise faster? With you, in coordination with you. Anybody oh, that's giving- in coordination with no, no, you. I'm <laughs> saying, Listen. I, I, no, no, I'm saying I would, still, like, I would still value your feedback even if I had the mentor. Yeah. Is he being sincere right now? I think so. For sure, I am. Because there is uh, pros to not having a mentor because I am having to really figure it out. And when you do figure out a move, like say you- you show me an arm bar, right? And I can't hit it, I can't hit it, I can't hit it. But then when I finally do hit it from a spot that you didn't show me, I remember it better. It's like the muscle memory. So now that I'm, I figured out how to float your face on a video. I, <laughs> I did that out of anger because I didn't get the feedback I wanted from the clip. It's not like you gave me the negative, but I was looking for a certain feedback. Okay. Expectations, high mm -hmm. again. And you didn't give it to me. So what happened to me, I, I got angry. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, let me show him what I can do. And I did make a better clip. So I, I do use it, but it does hurt still. Mm -hmm. It still hurts to do. Can I ask you, could you find a podcast mentor or a create creative outlet I, mentor? I could, I could do anything. I have, have I really tried? I don't really know the exact right way. I have to ask myself some different yeah. questions. Just because on, on my end, like the way that I go about everything in life is if I want to do something, I find people who are excellent at it and I just surround myself with those people. So I have this business coaching mentorship where I've learned a ton. I have a strength coaching mentorship. Um, I train jujitsu. I, I hang out with you guys. You're my jujitsu mentors also. So it's like you can figure it out on your own, but it's going to be a lot harder and you're going to go through a lot of struggles that you otherwise might not need to if you I, can surround yourself with the right people. I don't necessarily want to pay somebody to be my mentor. Now, you don't pay us, I'm saying, mm -hmm. but we have a nice agreement. That's the kind of thing I want. I want to find somebody and I want to interest them mm -hmm. into mentoring me. That's what I, because I think that's more valuable. Did Michael Malice block you on Twitter? He didn't block me. All right, so there's hope. And he's we not, talked about this the no, other no, day. But he's, no, no, but he's not my mentor. I want I want like I want a mentor like a blue belt mentor in podcasting because I am a white belt, even though he says I'm not in podcasting. I want to meet a blue belt or a purple belt because that's a little. I think it's easier to find that mentor than a black belt. Why would they help me? Okay, can I tell you? You don't listen to as many hours as po of podcasting as I do. You are way above white belt at podcasting. You don't watch as many crappy clips as I do. You are way above a white belt at clip creation. Now, back to this whole mentorship thing. Because you're self-made and you're succeeding or you're growing and everything is getting better, maybe the rise is slower, is it more gratifying doing it yourself? Mm, for sure. Okay. I don't, I don't know when this turned into like a... 
<laughs> talking me off the ledge here? It sounds like you guys are keeping me from committing suicide. <laughs> we care about you, Ed. I was in the dumps today, like just miserable the whole day. I've got one other <laughs> one other piece that I want to talk to you about is like I asked you before, how do you get more confident? And your answer was like, keep doing it, keep showing up. I I would argue that there's one other lever to pull, if you will, which is like affirmations. And it starts sounding kind of like new agey and like out there when you talk about positive affirmations and things like that. Well, you are a millennial. I, I am a millennial. No, we're, oh, well, me and him. You're a millennial you, too. I am not a millennial. You guys are. You he's guys on, are he's on the, no, he's on the edge of Gen yeah, X. Yeah, he's okay. on, but I'm, you're on the edge of Gen <clears throat> Z though. Uh, you no. are. For sure. I, I, I agree with like number wise, yes, but like behaviors and personality wise, very that. different. It's a compliment to you. Uh, it's okay. Thank but you. You, the reason you take it as a negative is interesting. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so he just wants to go right over. It's all right. Dave doesn't even know what we're talking about. Go ahead. <laughs> we can circle back to the millennial thing. But um, it's like you have this perception of yourself and you even keep saying, I'm a white belt at podcasting. We're sitting here saying, no, you're not. You're above that. But you but, both don't even but, podcast. Sh- hang on. In but your, I listen. In your brain, you're a white belt, right? When, when you got promoted in jujitsu, was there like a mindset shift where you maybe you, you felt like you didn't deserve the belt, but then you got it and you're like, okay, I'm here. Maybe I do deserve this. I think that only happened at Brown. When I got my blue, I knew I was ready. Okay. So you feel like right now you're not at blue belt level of podcasting, but... I guess it seems ar- arbitrary the way we're talking about it, but keep okay. going. Moral of the story is that if you can change the way that you think about yourself as a podcaster and as a creative person... I think that it's it's going to help you get over these like mental roadblocks. Yeah, but I didn't give myself a blue belt. Somebody gave it to me. They gave me the, they gave me the affirmation. I want the affirmation from somebody above me. So all that that meant is is that someone who's already been there looked at you and recognized you're good enough for this. Yeah. But you just said you're a self-made podcaster, right? Like no one's you, yeah, ha- you don't very, have a mentor. We're very failed, and we're right on the edge of quitting. So keep going. <laughs> Who is we? I am, and okay. I'm the one doing all of it. So, so if why, I quit, you quit. So why oh, can't you? Why can't you give yourself a promotion then? That's not how it works in jiu-jitsu. It's like me promoting Good. myself in jiu-jitsu. He's like, not talking about jiu-jitsu. Like he's talking podcasting. about podcasting. You don't know what works like that. I know what works for for myself because I've changed a lot over the past yeah, year. Yeah, but me and you are different. Okay. Mm. We can sit here for the next half hour <laughs> and I could play 100 podcasts that sound way worse than anything that you've ever created. Yep. Ever. So if I promote myself to Blue Belt right now, will you guys shut up about it? I think it? that you should be a Purple Belt, honestly. All right, that's enough. Two this. straight Blue Belt at Can podcasting. we talk about Dr. Dave? We called him in here. We're not to talk about me. We I'll... didn't call him in here. He volunteered. <laughs> he didn't volunteer. I called him. Yeah, okay. I like you guys. I begged him. I begged him. Please, yeah. Dr. Cullen. Because well, you wanted guest. I love having guests. Well, <laughs> luckily, Dr. Dave is a good guest to have. Did oh, you thanks, listen guys. to his most recent episode? Unfortunately, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Dr. Dave, this is a compliment to you. If there's anybody out there that's looking for a guest on their podcast, Dr. Dave would be a great guest to have because he's educated. He seems to know what he's talking about. He speaks clearly, and more clearly than the hosts. <laughs> and, and he's handsome. You don't, I don't get that know how the that helps for they podcasting. Hear it. No, no, they can well, hear I appreciate it. that, though. No, they can hear it through the They can hear it in your voice. Wow. Yeah, I well, can hear it. Ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. I'm going to close my eyes. Go ahead. Talk, Dave. <laughs> how do I sound? Not no, I don't no, know. Not that, no, no. I don't think I have a particularly handsome voice, but Dave does. But okay. you speak clear. Thank you. No, you of course he speaks clear. When I remember how close to hold the microphone. Just listen to podcasts. Too many people out there that don't speak clear or guests. Dave's not the host. He doesn't speak into a microphone. Maybe he doesn't speak clear. Mm-hmm. Some hosts don't speak clear. Sure, but he's got he's the practice. He's better though. than some of the hosts. Didn't you do practice in doctor school, like bedside manner and stuff? Practice like that. <laughs> did you have a we, microphone we didn't in your hand when you did it? In, not, not, no, but that's not podcasting. No, but, but yes, it's communication. I, I, I was going to say I do have like clinical training in communication. That's a big deal. I read a lot. I People listen to a lot of podcasts. That. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah I, that's a big deal. I think I'm a decently eloquent person. No, because person. it's not only that. It's eloquent. <laughs> when you focus and think. Because I until recently, before we started this, maybe a couple years before that, Joe Rogan said on his podcast, it's a thing that he's been honing. Yes. So oh, like yeah, jujitsu, if you just show up and roll, but you don't critique yourself after and have somebody looking over you, yeah. you'll never get better. Yeah. And as as a physical therapist, like one of my most important tools I always thought beyond like what I did with my hands was the education that I gave people. So I think just speaking clearly and communicating what you want to communicate is a really powerful tool. So yeah, I, I have been honing that off of the podcast, I guess, when you put it that For way. For sure. And you're good at it. Thanks, man. Appreciate Reach out that. to Dr. Dave D. Swoboda on Instagram <laughs> or Ground Game Physio on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Also, check out his website, groundgamephysio.com. Reach out to him. He's a great guest. <laughs> all, all also, credit for the website Dave, goes to Dave. Oh, thanks. Listen, <laughs> I've gotten a lot 
I mean, as many people as you're working with in here, mm-hmm. everyone that you're working with in here is happy. Mm-hmm. They say that they're doing much better since working with you. So I'm happy to have you in here awesome. working with these Thank people. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. And that is actually a really cool feeling when like you wake up to a text from someone. And they're like, hey, my back felt great when I rolled or my ankle felt great when I rolled. It's like, ah, oh, awesome. I'm doing, yeah. doing, doing good things. So now let's swing this in the other direction. When are you going to fix my elbow? <laughs> when are you going to actually show up when I say, hey, let's schedule a video session? <laughs> mm, I want in person. You're here right now. Okay. All right. When are you going to be here next? Sabado, yo. Yeah, Saturday. Okay. We'll do it then. All right. Dave loves pushing Deal. this kind of stuff off. I want to like do privates and stuff, and we want to go home, come in here and drill and stuff, and he still won't do it. He won't even, he just ignores me. No. We'll do it. We're going to do it. Okay. What, okay. Uh, what are you putting off? Doing privates? Or well, what? we would no, no, we do like little secret sessions. Ooh. Yeah, we come in here and we do like when we go to Gary's, it's the same thing we do in here. Gotcha. And those are the those are when you get good. <laughs> yes. That's what that... we need. We're going to pretend that Ed is Sam and I am me and we're going to beat Sam. Okay. Just a shout out to Sam. I own you tonight, big guy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> He's going to crush you. He is going to kill Listen, you. Listen, like I was telling you, you were tell like we were talking while they they were rolling and you were like, you know, I don't want to push him too hard because I don't want him to quit. And that is true for some people, but Sam's the type of person that knows how to be on top and knows how to win and he doesn't get challenged a lot. There's not many people in here. Yeah. Probably nobody that's going to tell Sam to his face that he's a loser and he'll never tap me. But if I do that, it gets him excited because nobody else is doing it mm-hmm. and he's going to fight harder and then when he makes the mistakes, he's going to want to fix them so he can dominate me and crush me. Okay. I didn't say that I didn't want to push him. You said that, what did you say? You were riding him or picking on him the whole round. Yeah. Yeah. No, that. No, I'm not going to do that to him. Well, because he would hurt you even harder than he did today. <laughs> he already he <laughs> but I wa- me today. No, but I want that. I want him to go as hard as he possibly can with me because it does make me better too. Yeah, but it's ultimately sure. going to make him more excited because he doesn't get like that. There's, do you think he gets bored? I hope he doesn't. And I, I think he could. If, like, if he let his mind go there, I would understand why. Because there's not many people in this room that are going to really push him and make him do the technique exactly right. Even me and Dave and Kyle can't make him do all the techniques right. Right. So it's like he'll get away with making little technical errors and Big, mistakes. No, no, no. Big technical errors. He's so athletic and he has such great balance and he, his grips are so meaningful and powerful that he can get away with holding a wizard when he shouldn't be and still dominating the whole round. So he needs to do the stuff that me and you do on the side and just do from positional only be in terrible positions the whole round switching partner shark tank that's how you're really going to push that kid and then when you do that he's going to be even better and then he's going to have to go to other schools you're going to have to start bringing him around and having him challenge people <laughs> his own size well he wants to compete so that's going to be a challenge yeah he's right we're going to he gonna hasn't be, competed yet not yet no, he's no, going to oh, he's going to crush he's yeah, going to crush dominate. we're going to make him kill i can't wait it's gonna be fun, but I'll we have to stop rolling. When he gets it, by the time he gets his blue belt, we're done rolling with him. He, we just sick him on other people. It's like we're not gonna <laughs> fight our own dog, all right? No, because by then he'll <laughs> he'll be able to hone in on the skills that he needs to build for competition. He won't have to wizard and throw or lat drop us from playing guard. But it's not just it's not just that. He loves to win. That's why he gets so good at what he does. He wants to win, and and he wants to win. Dominantly. Yeah, I don't think you wrestled four years in college without he's that hungry. winning mindset. That's why he's here. Okay, let's show him a move from the bottom. Sam, hit this half guard sweep, and you you suck at this half guard sweep. No, You'll never hit this half guard sweep. He doesn't understand what I'm doing. No, but you, <laughs> what were you doing today that got him so angry? I was telling him he'll never tap me, and I was just talking to him the whole time. He's making these grips. He's making mistakes. I'm still, still making the same mistakes, Sam. You'll never pass like this. Like, <laughs> No, but I'm trying to I get- I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, he did he pay took for it out it. on everyone else. Oh my God, I paid for it. <laughs> I always done that though. I like to do. I like to motivate people in that way because when I can read it on them, I won't do that to anybody because some people get angry and just quit or just be like, "I'm not rolling with him anymore." Or they'll come talk to you and be like, uh, "I don't want it here anymore." Well, he punched me in the ribs. Good. That's a compliment to me. <laughs> have Have you ever had any students like quit, got frustrated, and just like gave up? No, maybe one, but he said that it was. Uh, he didn't like. He kept hurting himself. Mm. But I sensed that that's not what it was. Yeah, that was that was his excuse. It, as at the time that the, he started, he was the nail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but and he didn't like that's an ev- that's an ev- that's every gym. Every gym oh, yeah, ha- yeah. has the people that show up. It's not specific to Dave. I don't want people to think that. No, no, that's that's jujitsu. Jujitsu yeah. is hard yeah. for sure. Mostly, I would say that I've seen it for the kids, mm-hmm. and I, can see that. I really feel that I feel that it's not kids that have siblings, only children. Because they're in not used my to getting beat up on. Yeah. Yeah. They don't handle jujitsu well. Hmm. Maybe it's something I'm doing. I don't, I honestly don't know. But in my experience, the only children don't handle it well. I think it's really valuable to come in here and just get 
your butt kicked repeatedly and like being the nail a lot. I feel like I was in that position a lot when I started out and I just got really comfortable being on the bottom and being like dominated by people. You just learn how to control your breathing and keep your frames and you're you know. still the nail. Oh, I, I know. Like most <laughs> you of the just time. want to make sure you <laughs> no, know. Yeah, no, <laughs> completely. Okay. I mean, you're still the nail too when you roll with Sam. Oh man, I'm still the nail when I roll with Sam. I was Dave's nail today. I was Matt's nail today. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, it's, it's important to put yourself in those situations and get comfortable like with those positions that suck. Easy to say, Dave. Easy to say. But you don't know people's life experiences and what they've the adversity they go through. You have to I think you have to go through a certain amount of adversity before you start jujitsu. Or or you have to start well, at a very young age. This can be your adversity. Like you no, can I know, but you have to have somebody in your corner though. Say that you're the only child or you have parents that don't really yeah, support okay. you. If, if you, you have nobody and, supporting you, yeah. it makes it really you tough. You just come here and have a negative experience and never think or, about it in a positive way. it's not light. even just support. It's supporting you in a specific way because everybody needs support different. Dave doesn't need support the same way that I need support. You I need, need a lot of hugs. For sure. People yeah. tell no, you that it's okay. A but listen, lot of hugs. That's actually very true because I got a lot of hugs when I was a kid and I rely on hugs because that's it lets me know weak. that I'm doing it right. You can keep saying I'm weak. I'll crush you every day of the week. You'll never be better than me. You'll never tap me because Dave's been training listen 14 years. Listen to how years. angry he is. <laughs> no, because I don't want people that are listening to this to think that hugs are weak because they aren't. Hugs are actually the biggest strength you can have. Okay, you were hugged a lot as a child. Why didn't your parents teach you basic hygiene? Yeah, that's true. My dad didn't. I don't, you could ask him. He didn't teach it we to me. We need to actually have a conversation You're not a dentist that. though. It doesn't matter. Dentist, he's a doctor. I don't care. Brush your teeth more. I'm not doing that. Please. I've gotten no cavities from not brushing. I'm not going to start now and start getting cavities. That's ridiculous. Okay. The doctor said my gums aren't great, so. <laughs> you know what's funny? He was the one that introduced me to the, what's the floss thing? The floss sticks? Those yeah. picks. You never did use the floss stick? I don't mm. remember this. Do your, the best kids, do your kids brush their teeth? My, well, my wife brushes them. Are once, you sure? Once a day. <laughs> <laughs> We're not animals. <laughs> no. I mean, we are animals. <laughs> That's up to her. You got to take that up with her. I don't brush teeth, mine or my kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's our next clip right there. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? I make mistakes, Dave. You think I'm perfect person. I don't think that. No, I don't think anyone in here thinks you're no, perfect. No, I know, but you no really, no, 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 but you guys really rub it in. Like you really want me to be perfect, but I can't do it. I don't want you to be perfect. I want you to be a little bit better. Yeah, I just want you to improve. I want to punch both of you in the face because you both. Dave, we way... can take them together. Oh, 100 percent, we can. Yeah. No, Ed, the barely, thing is, barely. we see your potential, and you see your potential. That's sometimes. what makes me depressed. <laughs> yeah, okay. but I don't need no, you to tell no, no, me how no, no, terrible no. I am. I need but you to support we, me. We are. We're pushing you to be better. You're Why pushing me that to good? jump off a bridge head first. <laughs> Only if you land in mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Why does that make you depressed? Because I'm already beating myself up, and you guys you, are piling on. Because you see on. this potential that is for there, sure. But you're not so why are you guys gonna pile on? I need you to do the opposite. That's why I need hugs. Because I do all the crit criticizing myself. So when you do it too, it's adding on top of what I already created. Okay, come here, come here, Ed. No, no, stay there. I was just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna do it. Brush your teeth first. But Dave, I'd like to congratulate you again on your blue belt. It's a very big thing to get a blue belt because a lot of people don't even get it. That's right. They quit way before, and you haven't quit, and you're hungry for more. And usually, when you breach blue belt, you're pretty. How likely are you to keep going? More likely. No. No? Less? More people quit well, yeah, blue belt I, than I, they Isn't are that like the meme that blue yeah. belts quit? Damn, so you are going to quit. I was just going to come <laughs> to like two more classes, flex on the white belts a little bit, and then I'm out. Do you feel a difference now? Like having the different color belt around your waist, psychologically, do you feel any difference? It's funny because at first, no, I didn't at all. Because like I, I didn't feel like I really deserved it yet just because I know all the weaknesses in my game that are still there. So I got the blue belt and I felt the exact same. It wasn't until like people started telling me how meaningful it was like this because you, you're you a lot further along. This in your is your journey. hug. This, I'm giving are you, you jiu -jitsu a hug. Right now? A little bit. <laughs> I cried in my car before I came in here. Just don't fart in our face. <laughs> <laughs> Reserve that for Sam. <laughs> it was my only defense against him. So I do have someone that I speak to regularly. He who shall not be named. Ed knows who this is. And I spoke with them today and they were really looking forward to doing some work with you. And they thought you were a brown belt. And when they found out that you were a white belt, they became disinterested. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. <laughs> he got his expectations way too high. What do you think about is that, that? Is that serious? Yes. Wow. All right. For They're one thing. They're still planning on coming to work with you now though because you got your blue belt. They're just I'm, a little less excited about I'm it. I'm flattered that they thought I had my brown belt. I do feel like having my blue belt gives me a little bit more credibility in this, in also, this world. Also, it puts a target on you. Oh, I felt that today. But that makes you better too. Yeah, well, 100%. I also manufactured some of that target it's okay. just for fun. Now, okay. can I ask you this because I know that you're lazy like Ed sometimes. Did you update the website 
so that it reflects you have a blue belt now. No. Oh, <laughs> see, no, no, but that's good on you. A lot of people wouldn't think about that right away. That, but that's good. Yeah, he, I'm I'll, complimenting I'll go do you. that. This is one of the ways that people will find him or contact him is through the website. It's true. You want to know what's bothering me, actually? Tell me. Gary. What bothers he you about him? He puts up episodes but doesn't say anything to anybody. I go to look today and he had an episode up for five days. I'm the one making clips for him. He doesn't even say, hey, Ed, I put up a new episode just in case you didn't see it. So he's not like promoting it well enough? Nothing. Like he's waiting for me to do it, but then he doesn't even tell me that he put it out. So Gary, we got to step up your podcast game. Your YouTube's doing great, but we got to dedicate a little more energy towards the podcast. Well, he put out a little thing on his pod- most recent podcast. He talked about how many listeners that they had. Maybe that would increase if he made a social media post. True, true, true. Now, that's interesting. That's something that I actually wanted to talk to you about because Adrian thinks that if we increased our social media presence that we would have more listens. But I'm going to tell you something right now. I listen to, ah, like we say over and over, 40 hours of podcasts a week. I don't follow any of their social media. True, because word of mouth is ultimately the best. He's saying if you want to maximize the viewership, for sure raise the social media. But... Listen, the content that we put out, people have to be like, hey, you got to listen to my friend's podcast because they're my teacher, they're my friend. That's, yeah. But if you put out clips that are really funny, like the one we're going to put out after I edit a little more, people will start showing it to other people. Then they'll be like, oh, wait, they have a podcast. Then they look. Right. Well, you still have a friend that only watches the clips, though. <laughs> there is, it seems <laughs> right, that but. there is no right <laughs> method here because Adrian, social media equals listens. Again, I don't fo- I don't follow Rogan. I don't follow Callen. I don't follow, and I listen to all those podcasts. Segura. Uh, Are there any non-famous people though whose podcasts you listen to? Yes. Okay. How did you find those people? I just typed into the podcast search engine this topic, and that's how I got it. Wow. I wonder how many people do that. I've never done that. Really? I've done that a couple times, but I, I don't think that that's the norm. I think like you are a podcast person, so that's yeah, how you you're going to You need to fill them. 40 hours. That's why you're looking. So what yeah. I was going to okay, say fine. is like the social media stuff, there's like a little bit of a delayed return on the investment. So you could start making more and more posts right now, and you're not going to really see much results for a little while. Sometimes when you talk like this, mm-hmm. I feel like you're talking down to us. Like He's like, talking down to us. Yeah, no, I don't no. like that. I'm sorry like, it came off that way. It's just like you like when you get into too like you get into doctor mode mm-hmm. and like you're really he's like yeah hey dummy take your vitamins yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I'm gonna I tell want you, you to just no. th- just think about it re listen to this okay and that's when you start your own podcast I want you to have more of an excitement I don't know maybe I could be wrong about this no I appreciate you, you pointing that out because I don't feel he's talking down to us at all I think that it's just something so, with your personality <laughs> the, this is an interesting point we're, we're exaggerating it but I'm saying. Like I said, if people are going to talk about, I heard this doctor on there, and he was really charismatic mm-hmm. when he was saying points that were good, too. That's something I'm wor- working on, too. Like, when I get excited and I start touching Dave, that's how I know <laughs> I'm onto the right track. Six because feet now. <laughs> I think people can hear and feel that, too. No, 100%. So I, I will be curious to listen back to this. Because, um, yeah, I'm always trying to improve how I sound, so I appreciate the feedback. But like Dave said, maybe that's a reflection of your mindset and how you're hearing it. He, Dave's nodding his head yes. So sure, I, don't, I don't know. Sure, but it could be either one. See, I didn't you, feel like he was talking down well, to me well, at all. All right, listen to this. If you think I'm a purple belt, show it to me. You could say that I'm a purple belt, but if you're not going to listen to my advice or say that I'm talking down to him, that hurts my feelings. But also, that didn't make any sense. Regardless. No, no, but you said, listen, listen. <laughs> all right, let me try that again. If I can't. Can I say something? Purple belt at podcasting, not interpreting Dave's words. Fine. I'm not a purple belt interpreting his words, but a purple belt in the sense that as I go on this trajectory up, we got to know the next step. You can't just be. I'm not going to get to black belt in podcasting just by doing it over and over again, like we said. We have to be looking for critiques to fix, and this might be a nuanced one that a lot of people don't figure out. That's why they don't get to black belt. Listen, you are climbing up. You are reaching for that next level. Look how you improve every clip that you're making. We are critiquing your clips. We are critiquing the podcast. That's how you're climbing. I know, but how come you defend him when I'm giving him a critique, <laughs> and you don't defend me when he's giving me I a critique? I thought your critique was useless. <laughs> yeah, but I well, think I think that's ignorance right there, and there's no way to prove that. But yeah, but there's no way to prove that's right. I, I don't like how sure of Dave, yourself. Dave, do you think that that was ignorance? No, no, but I'm saying I don't like how sure of himself he is. I don't. We don't know. I don't even know if it's right or wrong. That's exactly but right. But I don't and like I would... how sure of himself that it's wrong. That's what hurts my feelings. Yes. What I was punch in the face. <laughs> <laughs> What I was going to say was regardless of like if I genuinely sounded condescending, that's, no, no, no. that's you how... Did, you didn't sound condescending. I'm saying the tone, if you work on the tone of it, it could be... If you listen to Burt Kreischer, he's always up and he's playing to that. 
his his highest energy level. Sure. Now it's hard to play like that. He's a professional. Like I'm saying, if you could start playing with emotions, especially in just audio, nobody could see your facial expressions. That's why I like the video because I like making faces too, and it adds to it. Just like a tone could add to it. So too. That, he's uh, being too monotone, maybe. Th- I think that might be more of what I'm yeah, saying. There's a criticism. I could see that. Okay. I appreciate the criticism. You said I didn't. I didn't communicate it right. Thank you. I'm right, or I'm saying I'm sure about this. I'm confident. No, you confidence are. is important. Sure, sure. Confidence is important, but if you're too confident and you, you stop you're pointing, s- you're so confident that you're doing the wrong thing over and over, and it's working like Sam is. That you're not going to get to. Sam will never get to black belt unless he fixes what he's doing. Same thing with you. You could get away with it, and you are articulate. And there are people that are going to take it seriously because you're interesting enough in other areas. Ed, can I tell you some thoughts that I have about social media? Then, don't Please. even look. If you keep looking at me, I don't me, like I the way you're to looking God. at yeah. him. Now you're this doing is- it condescending. <laughs> Before you were being <laughs> sincere. I'm not even going to share my thoughts. I now. could feel the sincerity. I'm saying you're, I'm not saying you're not being sincere. And the things you're saying are good and right. Mm-hmm. I'm saying let's be fun about Hang it. Hang on. Let me just say this right here. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to say it on this podcast because I don't think everyone out there should get social media tips. You're such a loser. <laughs> such a loser. Such a loser. You you want to like hoard all of this yeah. knowledge. You I don't want to hoard it all. Sure. I don't want to share anything. Why? Because I just want us. You see it to as like a zero sum game. Yeah, but Dave, you doctor. No, but the reason that I just did that right now is because Ed wanted to talk about our fight because you were a witness. Sure, mm. he was a witness, but it isn't uncommon. I think his is the common stance. It's a scarcity mindset that he's coming. From. Sure, but I think, yeah, but, but I, didn't, don't, I but wasn't I, being sincere. You know, right but I don't. Right there, I was not being sincere. That was but a joke. But you've been sincere about this sure, kind of yes, thing in the I'm past. I'm evolving. I'm trying okay. to get better right, myself. Cool. Good. True. Good. But don't be surprised that he has that mindset. I think the common mindset is his. Yeah. I think that f- as far as people go, I'm very gracious and I'm always trying to help people. Dr. Dave. That is wh- true. Thank you. You've done a lot to help me. That is definitely true. I, I agree. Right. drop. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. You're barely <laughs> helping. <laughs> 1.5%. That's all I'm dedicated for. So what's the difference? Like you, you want to help me. You're very free with helping me, but you don't want to help other people. He trusts you. No, I'll help anyone. Okay. No, no, anybody that he trusts. He's not just no, going to no. help anybody. I, I trust Dave. I just met him. Dave, how long did I know you before you had a key to this place? Oh, yeah, it was like five days. No, no, no. But you could build trust that fast. If if I... Listen, Dave, listen. how many times I talked to you before hold I Hold on, hold on. Probably three or four times. If okay. Dave was a weirdo, you would he know it. He's a weirdo. He's a weirdo, but not in a way that you can't trust. We got to sit and talk to him for over an hour. That's true. I've spent we hours with first. him outside of that, and I, if I'm projecting trust in him, that actually helps embolden you too you're not going to give people you don't trust information that's a fact you might give them information but not a key to your gym this was different because he came to us he didn't come to us i searched him out that Whatever. makes it even more was trust. He not here he came to us physically if he came to us <laughs> and i didn't know him and you didn't know him in any capacity it would have been different possibly but he came from your good buddy samir and i trust who samir. I love no, no, trust. but that's what i'm saying samir <laughs> listen all samir did he said he gave me your name and that was it. He said, I tr- you know, I know this guy, and I think it would work out between you. That's literally all he said. I have so much trust in my friend that that was enough. That's what I'm trying to build with a broad community. I think that's what podcasting is. They want to be able to trust you, and not only trust you, learn from you, have fun with you. And podcasting is like a pretty unique avenue for that because people listen to you for so long that like they get to know you a little bit, and they feel like they're hanging out with a you. A lot of it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, honestly. Um, Phil, one of my new clients came to me through this podcast. So thank you guys for that. He said he felt like he knew me. Which Phil? (laughs) Oh, Phil. He doesn't even (laughs) listen anymore. I hate Phil. No, he listened. And that's how he... he, (laughs) No, no. When's the last time he listened? He listened to to this episode. Oh, he he just did. He just did. Okay. Good uh, for you, Phil. I was on the phone with him and he said he felt like we hung out that morning. And I was like, that's awesome. Because that's that's what podcasting does. It's like a a real window into like getting to know people. If it's done right, for sure. If it's done right. Yeah. So, So to your point about like building trust and... And getting to know a lot more people, I think this is a great way to do it. So I fully support you in your podcasting endeavors, Ed. That's and I will support you as long as you listen to me and know that I'm always right and you're always wrong. Okay, fair, fair enough. enough. As long as I'm there to critique. Dave loves the critique part. He hates doing the actual work part. The critique part, his favorite. That's not, that's not true because I edited the video that's up on our website. You should redo that <laughs> now that you're really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. We should just reshoot one. Fine. I'm a lot better now. That one wasn't bad. No, it wasn't. But I, I, I wish we could always be on video. It's, it adds such a... We're on video. Well, no, because it's after. <laughs> <laughs> Move around. No, but I'm saying, even the crappy clips that I have been making, if there's video to them, the views double. Don't you, even have, if, don't you have a camera? Can't you just like set up a tripod? Of course we do, but Dave doesn't wanna, right he doesn't want to do it. What are you talking about? Is, are you going to let that say that? No, no, he, you, said, he said today, we're going to start videoing our intro, outro. But 
how long ago did I tell you I wanted to do that? No, no, no. You I'll stop. I'll search back in no, our text. No, no, no. no. So and why tell are, you why aren't you that I want to right start now? shooting our intro outro on video? I'll find the text. It's Go months ahead. ago. Go find it. Go find it. He's I'm not going to find it. He never pushed to, to action. Words are when. I did not push to action, correct. But I did say it. But, Ed, that's because you can't be pushed too far. I have to push you little by little. True. That part's true. There you go. Fine. But we're going to be ready eventually. I'm letting you know I'm not ready currently. What needs to happen to, to for you to feel ready? That's a good question. I need to. Tell me. All right. This is what I need to question. do. The once a week podcast, that was my original bar, right? As long as I get my hour plus out a week, that's fine. Then we started doing one clip a week, right? right? Now I'm trying to do one video a week and videos are triple the amount of hours to do it. So I do, I don't want to overload myself with okay. the things that we don't need to do right now. Are you hitting those first two benchmarks of like the podcast and the, and the clips? Like the video we've done two weeks in a row. Okay. And we're going to do three because I already got it up. Okay. Now, is it easier if you shoot the video? So the toothbrush one you shot. Yeah, but that's like inspiration and it was an easy place to do it okay mm -hmm. but we can come up with things know, like that and shoot action, video to, to action, make your life Dave, easier to get you to do stuff is almost impossible that's, that's not, not true you got to get me while i'm here ed you were, oh can you stop by my house oh can you yeah you got to make it convenient he's a busy man i Thank did thank you the, the, oh, the man doesn't yeah. sleep he's gonna that's gonna change i know i'm so excited next for your new job. on month well they're easing different, me into it different whatever. because coverage now is is an issue so i did get the job my start time is going to be 7 o'clock, but next week I'm told that it's 6 o'clock. So I'll get one more hour of sleep, easing my way into two more hours of sleep. That's fantastic. I'll take that hour. <laughs> yeah, I'll jump man. all over that hour. Absolutely. No, because it's an extra five hours a week, and that adds up. Yeah, I know. Well, now it's going to be Now I'll hit maybe hours. five hours a night. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yeah, you got to get to six. That, that's, what, that's the goal. All I right, want to get to six hours. I'm excited for you to sleep I'm more. excited for me. I but even trying to schedule anything new, I'm saying this is a new aspect and it's going to take a little more time. It's really tough to get him motivated, even if I'm coercing him. It took a lot of coercion to even get the security camera footage to make the clip. It wasn't coercion. It was. I, it was time. I told you from the beginning, Thursday, you're like, no, we need it now. So I made it a point to get here early yesterday so that I could hook that thing up and look at it. Yeah, but I didn't, it didn't take one text. It was, if you look at the text, it was all day. I'm saying you literally don't need to do anything except for just show me where it is and I'll do it. And even even then he was fighting 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 i and just it, wanted to do it on thursday because tuesday's a late night tonight is wednesday we're doing this it's going to be a late night tomorrow is an early night i need to go to bed he doesn't understand that i am spending 20 hours a week on this podcast and the earlier i can get things done it frees me up for other things and i still would like to do my own podcast because that would make the whole thing better too and he doesn't care about that no no i do care about that and i appreciate all the work that you put into it yeah so a way to show me is to just do that little thing for me. And I did that little thing, but I just wanted to do it on Thursday on a day that I could go to I sleep. I feel like I'm a marriage counselor but I right show, now. You know, doctor, um, listen. I, <laughs> doctor, doctor. <laughs> doctor, can you look at this? If I'm saying to you over and over, I would really like to get it done. I really like to get it done. You literally have to do only a little bit for me to get it done, and it would really mean a lot. Did it get done? Did it, it get done? Why did I have to beg and did beg and beg? it get done? If I didn't beg. If did I just, it get done? If I just asked. Did it get done? <laughs> did it get done? But Dave, can you see how on this drives me crazy? Can you, you see how this asked. drives me crazy? Can you see did how it drives me crazy? Did it get done on the day you asked? Do you see what I'm dealing with? Did it get done on the way? Because that's not what it's about. It's about the journey, not the destination. Dave, Tell him, doctor. It was done. It's the journey. Now he just wants to complain. 1.5%. I do 98.5%. <laughs> because listen to this, doc. Because I, I'm, I'm muting all the stuff that he's saying out, and you can only hear me talking. So <laughs> <laughs> he can do that. I can absolutely do that. What I'm saying, idiot. <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's over. It's done. I don't care about that anymore. But I know it's going to keep happening unless I talk to him about it and make a change. Because I don't want to go through that every time that I have an important deadline that I want to meet. Okay. So what's the plan to get him to change his behavior? To, I don't know. Uh, to do I need your friggin' help. He's been acting the same way for nine months. Don't be in a rush. It's not a rush. Wait till the weekend. Friday. I could, Friday. My schedule changes. Does he understand that? I have a rotating schedule for this specific week. Yeah, but it changes in a predictable way, right? Very predictable. And he won't listen either way. Dave, I'm free Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We can do... Sounds like a great time clips. to film. He's not willing to compromise. Listen to this. He always has this family stuff, family stuff, right? I almost never use the family stuff excuse. This week, I have family stuff on the weekend. So I would like to get it done during the week. I shouldn't have to explain that to him. He should know that I really need it done. I shouldn't have to explain I'll myself. I'll get you the clip on the weekend when I have time. You can build it next week. 
but that's not my once a week. I have a quota that I'm trying to reach because if we will act you like Gary... You would have had to use different footage for a different video clip. Yeah, is there is there a different clip that you can work on and bank it? Listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me. Of course there is, but that takes a lot of creative energy to sit and think about it and then process it, and maybe it doesn't come out good because I've done that before. I've spent three hours on a clip and thrown it right in the garbage. If I have a guaranteed clip, I want to just use it now because it's harder to go back into that creative bank. You wouldn't understand because you don't make video clips, you freaking losers. Would you be better at getting yourself into that creative state if you force yourself to If I didn't have Dave in my it? life, I could just quit <laughs> this. I, this is why I want to just quit and kick him to the side of the road. I, for one, am very glad that I have you in my life, Dave. Good. Thank you. Could do a podcast with him and see how much you like him after that. I Please, I beg. It would be the funniest thing ever. It wouldn't even make it a month. Not what even. What do you mean? Dave doesn't have a job. He can edit the thing all day long. He does have a job. He has his own business, just like you. Look, he's huffing and puffing because he's condescending That was you. not a huff and puff. That's a condescension. <laughs> That's that was, what it was not a condescension. That was not a huff and puff. He just said you don't have a job, Dave. How does that make you feel? That's never very mean. I mean, I I know that I do have a job, so no, I don't have a conventional. Thank job. you. And he's right. I, That's what I'm talking I've about. I've got plenty of time. That is what I'm talking about. I, I know conventional. What he, meant. he knows what I, I mean. I don't have a full time job. Like I could, I could find time to edit a podcast or do whatever Not I want. To, you couldn't find the time to deal with this lunatic. Only I could. Dave, have I brought you down or made you better? You haven't done a podcast with him. Dave, have I brought you down or made you better? You've made me a lot better. In a lot of different ways. Well, how about this? You jump in this for me. For the next couple weeks, you guys could do this podcast together, and I'll do my own podcast for the month, and then you come back to me and tell me how much fun it is to work with this idiot. Is this how you thought it was going to go today? No. <laughs> Did you get that out of your system, though? <laughs> no. It's still, like I said, all this stuff was done today, so I'm still emotional from earlier. I'll get over it tomorrow. I don't when understand I... what you're emotional about. We already talked about this. You will never understand it because you, you have to do the 98.5 to understand it. Believe me. Believe me. But I always tell you what a good job you're doing. Why is that not enough? If that was all he did, of course, that would be more than Wait generous. Wait a second. And he hugs because... you from time to time. No, he doesn't. He will oh. never let me touch him. Bro, give him a no, hug. No, I'm not. I don't hug him. See? Why not? It's weird. Not even like a jujitsu hug? Get yeah, your underhooks. It's a jujitsu hug. That okay. doesn't count. No. Those don't count. Those don't mean anything. No. It's they mean, get they all mean something. They mean something. But I need certain types of hugs. <laughs> what kind of hug, Ed? <laughs> I Do I have to this is cuff a family your podcast. No. <laughs> Because if that's what we're doing, sign me up. No, see, if I tried to do that, you would back Don't away. I won't do that. Okay, see? He, he <laughs> talks a big game. I'll walk the walk. That's what I'm saying. The difference is action. Do you ever feel like he's attacking you? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> this has been such an aggressive podcast. But listen, the people can hear it too. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to listen to, maybe. <laughs> maybe. No. Maybe. We'll see. If... I don't describe the way you're lunging and pointing and jumping or grabbing and touching. Nobody sure. knows that no, you're doing it. No, but it adds to it too. I like that. Yeah, but no, but they, you think people can pick it up just by no, the voice. No, no, no. You can no. hear the... No, no. Not, they, can they can hear your energy, but they have no idea you're lunging at us. Sure, sure. Jumping at us, about to get us, and trying to touch us. If I wanted to touch you, I could. I'm not I'm really sure trying. Okay, so don't say trying. But the yes. whole point is action and words are way different things. Words are so easy. Show somebody. Show me. Like, if you think I'm good at podcasting, show me. How can you show me that? That would feel really good if you could show me that I'm good at it. We show you by listening. I don't know what that would look like. I'll tell you how it looks like. When you do a Zoom with me and I'm helping you with your first episode of your podcast, that's you showing me. And I know you're going to do that, so I appreciate that. Are you kidding me, dude? Every, it's every time, and it's just his son because he wants hugs, and that's a good thing. But Dave won't give me hugs because we're not related, which is weird. I love my son. I don't love you. See, when I tell him I love him, he hates it. He doesn't like it at all. Because I do love him. Why don't you like that? I don't know. It's weird that for Ed to tell me he loves me. I don't think he really means it. I don't think he knows what love is. That's the meanest thing he's ever said to me. And he said some mean things. <laughs> I do say mean things. That's really mean. Saying that you don't know what love is. I have two daughters and a wife that I love more than my own self. And he says that to me. Well, you shouldn't let it get to you then. Because you know it's not true. No, but I love like him. Like before, when he said I don't have a job, it didn't mean anything to me because I know that I he have a job. He knew what I, but you knew what I meant. No, no, but you also don't love him. So if somebody you loved told you that they don't want hugs from you. I can learn to love you. Dave, Dave you don't love me. And I know that. It's true. I don't love you. We're friends. I can't wait to quit this podcast and do my own thing. I don't understand. It's hard to deal with you. It really is. You, you don't even see it at all. That's what he makes me even crazier. You no, can't even right understand. Right now, I'm trying to make you crazy. Why do you let it make you crazy? Though? Thank you. That's a good question. Because emotions are hard, especially when you're creatively vulnerable, which we just talked about the vulnerability. Have you considered therapy? 
This is my therapy. I'm learning Should all we out. go to group therapy? You and I together. Couples therapy. Maybe we should do that. Can we record it? We could We could drive somebody crazy. <laughs> yes. Bring this <laughs> up. Sit down. Record a podcast with a marriage counselor. <laughs> they would just kick us out of the room. <laughs> that is definitely what we're doing next. We'll do Holy it. Holy cow. I think would they do that? Probably not. We could find somebody that would do it. Could we have to act like we're married or something? No, business partners. You don't think business partners can go to couples therapy? I've never heard of that. I'm sure you could. Oh, we're definitely doing well, this. Well, that's a great Are idea. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm not Fantastic. kidding. Fantastic. Dave, that was a great idea. Wow. I, I'll listen to that podcast. Well, because you don't ris- listen regularly. I know that. We pump him every episode and he won't even listen. <laughs> like, he, like he says, like, I'm a pro uh, podcasting. He won't even listen to it. I know, okay? It makes me a little crazy because in the beginning, I was like, so, Dave, did you listen to the podcast? Because we gave you a new little plug. Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't yeah, listened no. yet. Of course So not. then, like, the next time, Dave, did you... Li- oh, no, you know, to be honest, I haven't listened. Oh, 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 great. Thanks. What is he talking about? He just has a part-time job. He's got plenty of time. He could listen to an he hour of us. He didn't say he had a part-time job. He's trying to start and run his own business. Right, right, trying, and he's only working not as many hours as you work. You work way more hours than he does, and you still listen to every episode we have like multiple times. Multiple times. So he can't listen to it once. I care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Words are nothing, Dave. And Dave, you don't care about the podcast? I'm okay with that. That doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you a bad friend. It does make me a bad friend. You're definitely a bad I'm friend. sorry. And I do care if you listen, actually, because I respect you and I want to help you with your podcast. So if I want to help you, listen to the freaking podcast. No, you guys are all right. And actually sitting here listening to you guys say that, I do feel pretty bad for not listening to more episodes. Good. Yes. So you've succeeded. I'll listen to more of the podcast. <laughs> Since we've talked to you, mm-hmm. I came to my major epiphanies after that conversation even happened. So we've been getting better each episode, I think, or no. Together <laughs> on the podcast? Yes. I think everything is getting better. The clips are getting better. The podcast is getting better. Maybe not right now. Maybe at the beginning of this, you have to do a little bit of editing. <laughs> but for the most part, when it's just the two of us, and I feel like Dave blends in here real nice. Thanks. You're going to have to edit this a lot less than... Do you remember the beginning? The beginning? I'm going to actually have to edit this a lot because we've been talking over each other a little bit. <laughs> Fine. We've been talking over each other. I stuttered a little bit in the beginning. I've noticed that. Right after rolling, I stutter a lot. I didn't notice it because I cut it all out before. I know. It was good. Thank you. But... Because we've been doing it so long, you have to edit less, like you said the last time. True. You remember the beginning, though. Cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that out. Yeah. What other things have you learned like through this journey of doing the podcast? Like Besides the technical stuff, like getting better at editing and things like that. But Most jujitsu people do. Idiot. Take that out. <laughs> Leave that in. We could talk about that. <laughs> no, we can't. No, this we is can't. a G-rated podcast. Yeah. All right. So what have I learned besides the technical part? A lot about mindset, right? We've talked about this sure. in the past. Sure. It's mindset, but... It- it's interesting to me that you downplay the mindset thing because I would argue you need to work on your mindset a lot. I'd argue that you don't say it to me like that. That's the <laughs> argument that I'm having. Don't say it like that. First of all, like I'm not explaining it right or I'm not coming off the right way, but don't assume that I don't take the mindset thing very seriously. And it, what I'm telling you is I'm in the heightened state right now. There's different stages and then the emotions hit different. Like when you say that to me next week, and if I did something really good that I know is good and Dave doesn't have any critiques of it because there's some stuff that I've done that Dave's like, this is fantastic. And I know I hit it out of the park. And then if you said that to me, it would roll right off me. But when I make something and I know deep down that I could do better, but not right now. It's not going to be better now. It's going to be better later. And then you critique the critiques that I already know. Right. It, okay. it hurts there. Okay. And I know I have to control it. You're right. Of course. And you don't think I take mindset seriously. That's crazy. Right. So it's like you you know that that's a problem. And I'm sitting here telling you like, bro, you need to. And then yeah. it gets even more. Like okay. it, it ramps up I, even I more because you're, you're telling me I'm wrong and I know that I'm wrong. And I don't want you to say it anymore. So I'm trying to talk about something else. And then you tell me that I'm still wrong about it. That's interesting. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> that's like today when we were talking about Sam, when you're yelling at me to get up, I'm like, I know I have to get up. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. So then I wasn't explaining it right because I... W- Right. I was thinking from my own perspective. Mm -hmm. So stop thinking from your own perspective and put yourself in my shoes, please. Can you tell me, Ed? Because I'm really curious then. So you know that this is something, like it's it's on your mind. You know it's something that needs work and like you're thinking about it. So I guess my question is like, what have you done for it? Or like like in in what ways have you approached the problem like on your end? So what I do when I'm in this uh, state, I usually go to talk to my dad about it. And he usually lifts me up. But today, he told me the same thing that both of you said, and I didn't want that. That's <laughs> so not what yeah, I was looking for. Getting hit with that from all yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the expectations of not getting what I want makes it worse as always because I always set them too high, and that's something I've been conscious of. And even that is still too hard because it's hard to keep them low. Is there it's anything really hard. that, that like, you can do for yourself when you, when you feel that way? Like, Is there any way that you can pull yourself out of that? Uh, I probably have to – sometimes I've been laying down, 
and my mind works too hard and I won't go to sleep. But then I hit this state of meditation. Yeah. So I need to start asking myself different questions. That's all it is. Do you practice that? Like practice meditation at all? Or No, I've just been doing it recently because my brain has not been shutting off. I've been having thoughts and thoughts and thoughts. So I just lay down and close my eyes. And then I kind of, you know when you're about to fall asleep but not quite? I hang out there for about 15 minutes and then I wake up and I feel a little better. Okay, cool. But not today. Today I was so angry at myself for messing up that I just put all my energy into the next thing and I didn't have any break and then I came here and now you guys are keeping me worked up which is fine but tomorrow <laughs> I'm going to reset this is going to be some tedious work that I have ahead of me where I could just listen to a podcast and just kind of zone out and that's what that's what really does it when I could do zoning out editing that I haven't got to do that okay cool I like what you did with the energy today though because the second clip is better I know I, I used it instead of quitting I used it and tried to make good again. why don't you do that with all of our criticisms because it, no it takes a lot of energy like I don't like the way I, I don't like to be in that state too long like I was in the state for six hours straight and it like I was anxious my heart was beating and I need to get out it's, of it it's yeah I, I get that like it's not sustainable no for stay sure not that energy that's what I'm saying long, I, I was yeah. in it too long and now you guys are bringing me back to like I, it's just like I can get that back there so quick right now when I shouldn't so after we're done with this I'm gonna go home and just relax chill and then tomorrow i can relax because i already did all my work for the week i like that I, I think it's important i think it's good that you're you're noticing this about yourself and that you're able to like capitalize on this energy when it's there you're able to go and like chill yourself out when you need to so it sounds like you're moving in the right direction man you want to know something else i learned yeah i remember when i made that jump rope video just that yeah. silly little thing that was the best i remember making that and being like if i can make this like three times a week mm -hmm. this is how you'd be famous like if I could do those kind of clips, just like mm -hmm. just consistently, right? But I was like, of course I can't do that. How long ago was that? That was months and months ago. I asked ago. you to make a clip out of that. Yeah, that was about six, seven months ago. Why did you say, of course I can't do that? Because I, I've never, I didn't, it's hard to think about it in a skill like set. I never thought of it as a skill set. I thought like some people are funny and some people aren't. Right. Which isn't true at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're defining like your identity. You're defining yourself. So now I've switched it and I've learned that just think harder. It might take a little longer for each one, but and now I figured out different ways to trigger inspirations, trigger epiphanies. That's that was my major one is you could manufacture epiphanies instead of just waiting for them to come. Yes. Have you ever read the book Originals? You know I, I haven't read that. You know I haven't read that book. It doesn't know how to read. If it's not oh, an audible, he's I can not I can it. teach you how to read and then we can get you reading this book and I think it's going to help you a lot actually. I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. I I read a lot actually, but I haven't read that book. Okay. I think you'd be interested in in it um because it talks a lot about like how how are people creative and like what defines successful creative people. And one of the things that they talk about is just constantly coming up with new ideas. Um so basically like sitting down and just forcing yourself to create even when you don't feel like it, when you're not like in the mood, if you just sit down and do it, those ideas will start flowing to you. So like the most successful people aren't necessarily the best. They're just the most prolific because they stick with it and they keep putting in the work constantly. And and because of that, as like a numbers game, really good things will come out of it. So even if 90% of the work is trash, if you work every day and I work twice, you're, you're going to win. But what you're glossing over, the trash hurts to make. It's, yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's like the secret is to not let that hurt not let that pain stop you from showing up the next day, which isn't easy to do. It's, it's not, not even easy. close to easy. Um, which brings me to another book you should read. All right, right, no, no, no. Stop, stop giving too many books. <laughs> you can give me one book, one book at per, a time. One book per episode. For sure. And then okay. I, I will listen to you because I haven't okay. been listening more. Hey, but don't read the book until he listens to the podcast. That's, That's true. That's right. also true. Okay. On that note, it's bedtime. Can we do like five more minutes? No, because it's bedtime. I want to go to bed. Dad. We'll do longer for the <laughs> intro outro. All right, fine. How do we do? Did we do okay? We did great. I feel like we didn't even talk about Dave at all today. Okay, he was here. It was fun. It. Yeah, you didn't have to. We complimented him. He was happy. I, I was happy. I figured like the, the first episode was like promoting me and stuff. Yeah, but I had so much stuff that I wanted to talk to you about this yeah. episode. You, you didn't did? get to I it? I did, yeah. Oh, no, like we what? Did. No, because we just... We... <laughs> well, can I just ask one thing then? Yeah. What's the timeline for the podcast that you want to start? Um, if it's by the website, it's going to be months and months <laughs> and months and months. No, I'm going to say end of February. I'd like to have like three episodes ready to release. That's a good idea. All right. I'm excited to hear it. We're going to be on it, obviously, because we're awesome. Of course. You're going to edit it. I'm not editing it. I'm going to teach him how to edit it. Yeah. Yeah. I need to learn how to edit it. I'm not putting that on him. I'm putting it on him That's to not teach good. me and help me. That sounds bad. That's fine. Um, I trust you because you're a doctor. This so. made me realize I like my setup with like the boom mic on my headphones because I don't have to hold it. Like it's just 
I set the distance. We could just there. get microphone stands. The thing is, when we first started this, we were primarily tra- traveling to other places, so we needed to be. You don't have to do that at all. You have your setup. It's actually easier for some people. I like holding it because I always wanted to be a stand-up comedian, and I feel like I get to pretend to do that. I say I feel so like uncomfortable holding it and like. This is the best thing. Oh, he loves I want it. to yeah, take he loves this it. Yeah. just without the wire, <laughs> and I want to keep it in my pocket. And when I go to work and I talk to people, I pull it out of my pocket and I talk into the microphone when I talk to people. That's a good video. What's a video? I'm just gonna walk around with the microphone. I'll go to the mall and like ask people directions or something, and I'll just put the microphone up to my mouth when I talk to them. In post production, I could make it something. Like it, it, the sound will be good. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. But you have to, we have to write questions and stuff and be fun. We. But no wire. No, no wire. I just yeah, want no wire. Around. Yeah. I could set oh, it up that way. Oh, that would be great. All right, cool. Perfect. What did you want to talk about? I don't, I don't <laughs> Look, remember he's so right excited now. now. It's too late, David. It's, it's too late. Time. I'm not even going to try and remember. <laughs> I was just curious. Yeah, no, That's good all. stuff. It was going to pump stuff, you up. Good but stuff. Good stuff. Now you're going to have to wait. Honestly, I do really appreciate that you you uh, you pump me up a lot. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. We have a good deal going here. Keep my things coming too because I just I have to jump back on it. I fell off. I got back on. I fell back off. Again. Oh, Dr. Dave, by the way, I figured out what was wrong with my back. What was wrong with it? My shoes that I wear to work were worn out in the way that was hurting me. You're so getting I just, your five minutes. Okay. I know. I bought. I bought. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> but I bought new shoes, Doctor Dave. What do you think about that? That's a good way to do it. Do you feel good in them? No, I do feel good in them. All right, then I'd, I I would argue that like that's really what matters. No, but I'm gonna do both. So Dave's gonna start stretching. I'm gonna start stretching, and then that's the end. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm not singing. Sing. I can't think of anything. I'm not going to talk until you sing. You barely talked in the whole episode, so it doesn't matter. Actually, I did want to get into what you were going to talk to the doctor about. I did ask you if we could do the doctor on Saturday, but you didn't want to do it. So I'll sit here and talk all night if you want. You don't have to talk. I don't even need you here anymore. That's what this episode was about. I was talking and talking, and you didn't even, you put the microphone down at one point, walked away so I can get the last couple minutes in so I can make it a full hour, but it doesn't even matter. So I'd like to thank... Sing. <laughs> This again, always sing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell everyone what you just did. I <laughs> sure, mute, I muted you. Okay. You are my sunshine. <laughs> That's all I need. That's it. Gets me motivated to rock and roll, baby. Let's do it. So I wanted to talk about recovery with Dr. Dave. <laughs> we didn't talk about anything. We didn't talk about any of that stuff. Dr. Dave is a physical therapist trying to improve us, improve our lives, improve our bodies. He runs mobility classes here at the gym. And we had him on so that I had some questions. I wanted to talk about he posts information about the whoop, 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 strap. Maybe you make that only one of those. <laughs> And he's been posting a lot about it lately and the information that it can give you and how to improve recovery. And I really wanted to dive deep into the recovery with him. I'm changing my job and I'm going to be getting more sleep, more rest, hopefully more recovery. And I want to maximize my recovery and I wanted tips. Well, episode 40, for the first time ever, we have a guest in advance. This isn't for the first time ever. We've prepped guests before. Yeah, a long time ago. That's because I'm not chasing people you want to be on. I'm chasing them. You come to us. They didn't come to us. We. I asked them. I asked you. You agreed. And now John Stanley and Sam, who we mentioned over and over again, they're going to be our next white belt guests. Dr. Dave was the first. We got even better white belts. You call <laughs> Sam the best white belt in the state. He's so good. I Do you think Kyle. he's the best, best white belt in the state? I can't know that. I haven't rolled with all the white belts. But he's the best white belt I know. And that's a fact. I mean, he taps. And you can take that to the bank yeah but he kyle's rolling with him and he's got, fighting for his life he didn't get tapped today but they're fighting hard going back and forth i know kyle's a brown belt it's insane no, he's not a brown belt kyle's a good brown belt yeah not all brown belts are created equal kyle gives us a hard hard time there's brown belts i could just walk in and do literally whatever i want to them i know i'm glad that sam gives him a hard time or beats up on him the same way he beats up on me because otherwise i'd have to throw my brown belt in the garbage or burn it <laughs> yeah but in this episode we talk a lot about the recurring theme of action versus words. If you take what I've been doing to Sam these past couple days, look at the action. He's showing up the most he's ever shown up. He's gonna. He said he's coming on Saturday. He's coming on Sunday. That's a lot of times. It's because he's excited to come here and try to dominate me. He, he loves it. Good. So keep coming. Don't let him dominate you. Maybe you'll even submit him from time to time. I've been telling you this for weeks. Tap him out. I can't. I'm trying my hardest. I, what do you want me to do? I got lucky, you said. 
You did get lucky. <laughs> it's not going to happen again. No, you know why it doesn't happen again? It's because he fixes them. He learns. He, yeah, very quick. I hate that about him. He's smarter than he looks. He's smarter than both <laughs> of us. He went to college for four years. I know. What are we going to do when he's on the podcast and he's outsmarting us? Outsmarting us? Have you ever talked to Sam? He went to college for four years. He was very good at wrestling. That, do you think that's <laughs> what carried him through? He's very good at wrestling. I'm pretty sure he's got a degree. Very good at wrestling. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's the teaser for next week. Sam Palumbo and John oh, can Stanley. Can we do one more teaser? Go ahead. So, in the episode, we talk all about oh. these clips that I've been making, right? So, I gave oh. you the final cut of the audio with oh. your advice. And you got to give me credit here because I did listen and it did hurt when you first said it. But I know when you're right and I have been following what you said. When's the last time I've not listened to your advice? On the first try? No, nope, no. Nope, it's not about first try. As long as you get through to me eventually. Yeah, but you know that's tiring, right? Oh, give me a break, dude. I said the same thing to you. Yes, you were very tiring. I'm tiring. That's fine. But I have been listening. You listened. And what happened? How was it? What was the first text back to you? Perfect. Perfect. Amazing. That's what I was looking for. Smiley face. Good. Blow kisses. (laughs) Love. Hug. Whatever. All the things you always want to hear. You got them and more. But... Don't get used to it, because I know you're going to fail again soon. (laughs) Thanks. That really makes (laughs) me feel great. But this is going to be our best clip ever. I hope you guys stay tuned for it. It's coming out the same day the episode's coming out. Got to shrink it. You got to shrink it. I'm not shrinking anymore. I shrunk it it as much as I could. Did you shrink it more? It's 33 seconds. No, 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 not that. Oh. Oh, maybe, maybe. I'm not doing that. (laughs) Your wife said so, too. She's smart. Her and I agree on something. (laughs) She doesn't even listen anymore. She won't. I have to just tell her. I call her. We talk all the time. You never called her. No, she texts me she the other day. She blocked your though. number. Oh, yeah. She texts you when the... I just wanted to reach through the phone and choke <laughs> her to death. I'm like, you miserable <laughs> mother. I'm coming for you. Uh, she's been keeping me good because she knows how much... You hate me? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I really do hate you. Whatever. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be as good as you are today. You're welcome, Ed. Meg, go to... Idiot. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> You got anything else, Davey? Where can the people find this podcast? They can find us on all social media platforms at To The Death Podcast. Be sure and email us, to the death podcast at gmail.com, and check out our website, to the death podcast.com. And also stay tuned for Dr. Dave. He said late February he should be coming up with his first episode. I can't be, wait to be a part of it. Also, Gary, if you're still listening at this point, step your idiot up. <laughs> but listen, guys. Maybe Dr. Dave will have a podcast by July or August. If he's planning on February, it'll be July or August. He is a procrastinator. I'm not angry. I will ride him until he puts it into production. And that's why I think he will come out with it earlier than you're saying, because you are so good at nagging, nagging, nagging. You're welcome. He's welcome. Whatever. Fine. (laughs) All right. There you go. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't have anything else you wanted to talk to him about? I, all the recovery and stuff. I that was to get it. Over That's the nothing. That's one topic. No, because I wanted to really dive into it. He said if we wanted to have a conversation off the podcast, the last time he was on the podcast, I wanted to have it on the podcast and really dive in deep. But and I'm so friggin' interesting that you forgot all about it. No, it wasn't that you were interesting. It was really fun. That's just... interesting, you loser. No, no. There's a difference between interesting and fun. That was fun. It's a type of interesting. It's like funny. Funny is not interesting. Funny is funny. No, funny is very interesting. When you hear a new joke, that's interesting. You know what's interesting? History. History is interesting. Right. It's not funny. History that can be funny. was funny. Oh, no, yeah? No, no. What's funny about history? The history hyenas. What? History hyenas. No. You didn't even listen to them. You should listen to them. I'm not gonna. Hey, babe, you listen to that podcast? No. You I would really you were talking like about it. the movie with the pig. Babe, I've seen that in 1995. <laughs> 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 oh, all right. Let's get out of here. Okay, you gotta go Hit to the bed. button. Yeah. All right. Hit the button. Uh, no, the power button. No. Okay. We'll see you guys next time. This is to the death podcast episode thirty nine. <laughs>